Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kutaloops. Alright, so in the last episode, um, we went to war against the Abbasids for the uh, Duchy of Fars, which we won quite easily without a single fight against the Abbasid army. And then we also went to war against the Shamirids for the Duchy of um, Hadramat, I think. Yeah, um, and then we got a war declared upon us by the Knights of the Sun. Our very own Knights of the Sun decided to attack us for, um, I don't actually even remember why. But apparently they just maybe wanted their asses kicked or something. And look at that, you have become a court tomcat. Chasing skirts can be a dangerous business. Jealous husbands, watchful parents, eavesdropping maids, little bastards. By the sun, it's a wonder I'm still alive. <laughs> nice. It's awesome how he says, by the sun. Makes sense, right? Um, now, in terms of lovers, I believe we were trying to get 10 lovers. Because I'm thinking with 10 simultaneous lovers, we should be able to pop out a uh, genius bastard or two. If it's a male, we can use them as a replacement or uh, as a potential um, uh, backup for our um, for Kanzir. If it's a genius uh, daughter, then we can set her aside as a potential bang maid for our future generations to come. I think, maybe. <laughs> Now, can I turn you into my concubine? Or not my concubine, but rather my lover. No, I can't. Why is that? Why can I not seduce her? Hmm. It's a little weird. Oh, well. Now, who should we seduce next? Really? I mean... Huh. I guess? No, no. Let's stick with the... Uh, with the younger ones. <laughs> Not to sound like a giant pervert, but um, yeah. Alright, let's invite her to my court. Can I maybe send her a gift? And then can I invite her to my court? Nope, false religion. Alright, well, she is Buddhist in a world of uh, Zunists, which doesn't really sit that well with her, I believe. Alright, fine. How about I buy your favorite and then I invite you to my court? The reason why I'm doing the whole inviting to the court thing is because I want them to, uh... Oh wait, I can invite them? I can seduce her now. Oh, no, no. And the reason why I want to do this... Shit. Damn it. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just go after someone else then. Yeah, th sorry, uh, allow me to explain. So the reason why I want to invite her to my court rather than just seduce her right away is because if I have her at my court, then, um, then it, uh, then there's, uh, then there's less chance that she'll be, uh, taken up as a concubine by someone else, or she'll get married to someone else, or whatever. Let's invite her. It worked. Holy crap. I didn't think it would work, um, because she's chased. But nope, we got lucky. And then some. Right, a couple more ladies to invite to my court. Fantastic. Ah, oh, these ladies just love me. <laughs> nice. Fantastic. There we go. Miss, I'm gonna seduce you now. Have fun. That's right. And now we're gonna blast these guys right in the ass. You? Hold up. Let me seduce the other girl first and then I'll get to you, okay? Don't worry, there's enough D to uh, go around. Um, apparently there's too much D to go around. Having many lovers is exciting and fulfilling. So much love, so much desire, but so little time. I feel like I'm burning the candle at both ends. Probably with not with eight simultaneous lovers. Um, who should we break up with? Let's break up with this one. She's not pregnant, and she's also not a genius. So... Doesn't really meet the qualifications. And then let's immediately pick up another uh, lover. Uh, confess my love. And anyone else I can uh, seduce in the meantime? Maybe? Anyone around here? Well, actually... Nice. <laughs> uh, I believe she was the next in line. 
And we've got eight still, because we had to let one go. Fair enough. Zinette, you will be mine. <laughs> oh shit. Burson died. What the hell? <laughs> this isn't the first time that we had someone uh, die while being our uh, lover. <laughs> ah, jeez. Maybe you have a cursed uh, penis or something. Anyways. Meet in my room? Oh. She resisted. I had a non-genius son. So we're just gonna give you a regular old name. We'll denounce you too. Nothing personal, kid, but, uh, you know, not really qualified to be my, uh, heir. Let's confess my love. Nice. So I think now we have nine simultaneous lovers. Nope, still eight. Oh, right, one of them died recently. Jeez. <laughs> Golnar, let's seduce you too. Actually, are you in my court? You are. Good, good, good. 61% doing pretty well news from China after years of constant warfare and battles involving hundreds of thousands of soldiers the veteran armies of China finally managed to win a decisive battle near Chang'an the Jurchen Kagan was slain and his elite guards slaughtered to the last man the dragon roars okay so the Su dynasty still uh, maintains power in the uh, in China which is good because we've actually managed to build up a lot of grace with these guys It'd be a shame for it to just disappear all of a sudden. Not that it really matters right now because they're isolationist, so there's not much we can do in that regard, but still. Alright. Knights of the Sun, we're gonna take your last, uh, last holding. You guys asked for this. Well, almost literally. What exactly are you doing? You're trying to kill someone? Why? You know what? I don't care why. You're getting imprisoned, sucker. Oh, he would make a good steward. Speaking of which, how are you guys doing? Pretty well so far. Nah, it's fine. Uh, confess my love? Oh, that didn't work. Just the other day, skulking as I often do, I caught Chief Herayat of Guzgan and my courtier Sermon in flagrant. Lost in passion, they did not notice me, but I'm still in shock. Um, hmm. Was she my former lover? I think she was. And I think I actually just um, broke up with her because I was too, I guess, weak or something. Let's... Wait. Who's she a lover with? Chief Herayat of Guzgan. You know what? Let's expose them. And we have to let go of another lover. Ah, jeez. You know what? Let's go. let go of the uh, old lover who's uh, 55 years old. Ha 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 ha. Okay, in the meantime, how are these wars progressing? 100% Knights of the Sun, 100%. What did you think was gonna happen, man? Thankfully, we get some prestige out of this. Fantastic. Now, can I offer you vassalization? We can't. You make me sad. All right, um, we can create the Duchy of Fars. And I'm just gonna do another double check here. Potentially, but I don't think so. I think uh, we actually need to have an um, border water in order to, you know, for the, in order for them to actually become a merchant republic. I'm gonna give you the satrapy of Fars. But you, in the meantime, are you maybe doing anything skeevy so I can uh, revoke your shit? Not yet, but we still have time. This kid, however, has not yet done anything skeevy enough for us to imprison him or anything. Naweed, we're gonna denounce you as well. Ah, jeez. I seem to be struggling with all these lovers. What the hell? Uh, you know what? Let's... Let's let go of this one. I'm not too interested, because she's... Well, I mean, she's a little older. That and also she's not a genius. So... You know what, it's fine. Oh well. Alright, we should be able to win this pretty easily now, I think. Um, you? I'm going to confess my love again. And hope that it works this time. Did it? It did work. Fantastic. Look, guys, I'm just trying to maintain 10 uh, simultaneous lovers. Is that too much to ask for? Come on, man. 
come on. We keep teetering at around uh, seven or eight. We can do it. I believe in us. And that's 98%. Nope, that's 100%. Fantastic. We did it, guys. Holy shit. Alright, let's start creating some new human beings to take control of these places. And look at that. They actually uh, poured in money to build a temple for me. Fantastic. And I don't believe there's any trade zones over here. No. Maybe down here. But that's part of the Abbasid Empire. And I believe we ha still have a truce with old um, uh, sextuple chin walrus man over here. Yeah, this guy's probably on his uh, last legs. <laughs> uh, he's got one foot in the grave. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Actually, no. Let me give these lands away before we disband our levy. And unfortunately, we can't give them to women, so... That's not the screen that I want. Oh, look at you. Man, holy crap. Got some good dudes here. Now, which one is the best? Dofar and Kathiri are about the same. I'd say Dofar is probably a better one to give to this guy. Considering that he's got better stewardship. And the uh, Silk Road does pass through it. I don't know if it really matters or not, but whatever, it's fine. Alright, who's up next? Uh, this guy. You can take Kathiri. Mazel Tov. And uh, you can take Mara. Right there. Have fun with that, man. Have fun. Fantastic. Now we can just create this duchy too. That'll give us an additional 200 prestige. Fantastic. And we'll give it to this guy who's got the best overall stats. And that's Hadramut. Fantastic. Now I think we should be able to just lower our levies without, yeah, worrying too much about anything else. Fantastic. Alright, in the meantime, can you please fabricate the claim there? Man? Can you please? I'm not asking too much, am I? My court physician has suggested that I buy him some exotic herbs and other rare ingredients so that I can mix advanced draft, drafts and poultices. Sure. It's not a lot of money. Aha. Let's seek an ally among her friends. And let's confess my love. Well... Damn. Shah Raresh, you are old enough to be my father. Then she ran off giggling. Okay, well, it's not a bad sign. <laughs> uh, especially what with uh, the kids these days going around calling each other daddy and shit. Which I don't really understand. But maybe it's because I'm old. Anyways, uh, let's hold a Festival of the Sun. And see our known plots. I'm trying to fabricate a claim against my satrapy, I believe. Can I maybe invite you to my court so that I can kick your ass? No. And he's trying to kill Zia of Kalat. I don't understand why. Still can't vassalize him. What about the Sun Guardians? Or not the Sun Guardians, the uh, Church of the Sun. Not quite yet either. Alright, fair enough. In the meantime, we can create the Duchy of Oman. I don't really want to because I want to usurp this. And then turn this into a merchant republic. So that's not... Uh, let's create the Kingdom of Sistan. We might as well, right? My court physician... Uh, sorry, uh, my court... Yeah, my court physician has let me know that the herbs I bought him were quite useful. He tells me that he has made a few concoctions which might come in handy. So he gains one learning. Nice. And yeah, that's good. Wait a minute. Is that actually de jure? Oh, really? Huh. Weird, I guess I remember Sistan being a lot smaller than I thought it was. Or, wait, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was, I guess? No, that's right. And that's down there. And that's up there. Okay, huh. Weird. Alright, well, fair enough. Uh, let's confess my love again. Yes, it worked! Fantastic. So how many lovers am I up to now? I have... Eight. 
seems we're doomed to stay at the uh, number of um, eight. No, wait. It seems like we're doomed to stay at uh, eight lovers for the rest of our lives, which is kind of a shame. All right, let's invite these ladies to my court. They've all heard of my famous D, which um, can either give you the greatest of orgasms or kill you the next day. Fantastic. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, shit. She's uh, married to someone? Damn. Oh, she just got married, I think. Crap. Oh, well. To a blind uh, husband, no less. Huh? He doesn't know what he's missing out on. Or, I mean, I guess he can, but still. Meet in my room, m'lady? Fantastic. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm telling you guys. It's a thing. I think my penis is like either magical or toxic. It could be both. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. Wow. <laughs> Alright, well let's seduce this next lady. Jeez. Maybe we give them such powerful orgasms that they like die the next day. <laughs> Nice. Now what's happening over here? Jangladesh. Interesting. And this is still part of the, uh... It's part of Tibet as a tributary state. And Tibet is... Hmm. Now here's something that I could try. If I wanted to isolate uh, Tibet and fight them um, alone, Instead of doing a holy war against them and risk incurring the wrath of every Buddhist in the entire world. What we could actually try doing is we could try attacking one of their tributary states. Um, in a conquest war. So not a holy war. We could do a conquest war against the tributary state. And then hopefully that will draw in the, um, the suzerain. And then we should be able to fight the Tibetans... Um, I guess on more equal footing. Possibly. Might not be a bad idea. And then once we get them crushed, we can actually uh, start taking away some of their territory by winning uh, really quick wars and shit. Might not be a bad idea. Alright, first though, let's go after Jangladesh. Because right now, they are... They have territory in Punjab, which I really want. So let's go for the county of... Bera, and we're gonna pull in the Raj of or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not trying to make fun of the uh, name there, but I'm just I can't pronounce it. <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, let's do it. Bera. We'll take their shit first, and we'll also take a shit first. Meet in my room, milady. Fantastic. All right, can we maintain? Nine lovers. Let's see if this works. And we've got another lady that we can uh, possibly bring in. She's club-footed, but uh, that shouldn't really matter for our love-making purposes. Yeah, I think we should be fine. That's good. Let's see how this works out. Good. She's joined my court. Now let's seduce you. I don't care about the age difference. Just go for it. All right, let's start taking over Bera. No need to wait, guys. No need to wait. Meet in my room, milady. Yes! Fantastic. I think we actually have 10 lovers now. Nice. Yeah, I'm thinking between 10 lovers, we should be able to pop out a, a genius uh, child or two. And immediately, we have a non-genius child. Jeez. You know what? Denounce you. Boom. Get out of my face. Not even worth calling you Bobalafula. Um, oh, right, that's the uh, thing that we're trying to use against this kid. Right, kid? I'm gonna revoke your title um, because I have a claim on it. <laughs> Nothing personal, man. Nothing personal. Fantastic. Now, it's not Muscat that I want, but it's actually the city of Muscat that I want. Now, you... Can I possibly, maybe... Do something to revoke your title, by any chance. Mmm... Maybe. I think we might need to keep our... Nope! 
I think we were not able to maintain 10 lovers, which is kind of a shame. And a son was born to... I guess, is she my former lover? Yeah, I think she's my former lover. Ah, whatever. Alright, we might need to actually maintain our um, counselor here to continue to fabricate claims. But I really want, just want the city of Muscat. And apparently, um, my lover is pregnant. Wait, no. Oh, no! She gave birth to a genius son! No! And he's all the way over here, and he doesn't think he's mine, son of a bitch. Dang, nabbit. Oh, well. Okay, so this is them. We don't actually need to fight their army. Uh, we need to fight these guys. Jangladesh, over down there. Yeah, we should be able to manage that. Yeah, we'll try to avoid their army if we can. Not that I think it's really necessary, but um, we might as well. Actually, that's part of the Ayuda, and the Ayuda are part of Tibet. Or not really part of Tibet per se, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, Muscat? Come on, man. Let me take a shit. Let me take a shit all over you. Can I... Well, if I plot to kill him, it's not really going to work because... There's always going to be someone else to um, take over a city holding. So... Oh well. Damn it! Stop having non-genius children, man! Stop it! Alright, let's go after um, their actual army. Hope that we can actually uh, get some war score out of this. Yes! We finally did it! We finally had a genius um, daughter that we can potentially keep around as a bang maid. And we're gonna name you Boba La Fula. Just so we can uh, keep track of you. And we will denounce her. Because otherwise, um, she's gonna be acknowledged as being a, uh, being related to, uh, Kanzir here. So that could be problematic. Uh, we will denounce you. Yep. Sorry, you're not actually related to me. <laughs> but we need, do need to make sure that she stays in my, uh, court though. Or something, at least. Alright, we're coming in hot and heavy. This should be a fairly easy fight, I'm thinking. Yep, we got this. We got this. Bam, 100%. Let's get our troops out of there before we um, end this war, because otherwise we might start taking attrition, which is completely unnecessary. Thank you uh, very much. Fantastic. Oh, no. Let's not let uh, time pass needlessly. Fabricate some human beings. And now, give it away to... Oh, a brawny lady, eh? Well, well, well. I guess we might as well, then. Now, can I still not seduce her? No. Huh. I wonder why. What exactly is the stipulation for that? Oh, well. Um, chase guy. I guess we might as well give you Bera. Sure, have fun with Bera, my friend. And that's not a part of... Okay, that's part of Lahore, I see. And that's all part of right. Okay, so in order to take the rest of Punjab, we might actually need to go attack these guys a couple times. Which isn't amazing, but it's not really that big of a deal, I don't think. What is this? Oh, the Sun Temple. Right, I see. Um, no, I guess we can't really turn this into the capital, so we might as well just... Yeah, it's fine. Not that big of a deal. Now, Muscat, is there really nothing I can do to convince you to let go of this... Shuffle off this mortal coil and give me your holdings? I guess not. All right, miss? Welcome to my court, and you are not married. Okay, you were married to someone, um... Apparently, gouged out his eyeballs after, I don't know, making love to you or something. Maybe that's a little harsh. But anyways, um... Tibet. Right. 
Or the Abbasids. No, I think we still have a truce with these guys. Yeah. Abbasid revolt. Well, well, well. We could go to war against the Abbasid revolt for Sana. And then swoop around from, from down here. And then blast the Abbasids in the uh, underbelly ass. Uh, might not be a bad idea, actually. Sana and Thais and Afar is down there. We could actually take Afar. It's a fully formed duchy, which is crazy. But I think Sana might be the better choice, considering that we'd have to go through um, their territory to get to uh, Afar if we really wanted to take it. Hmm. Or maybe we should actually go after Tibet, considering that we were thinking about that for a little while. Still can't vassalize him, right? Yeah, didn't think so. Okay, well, fine. Various people owe me, uh... Um... Favors, I guess? I don't really remember why we asked them for a favor, but... Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I think we, it's because we wanted to bring them into my court. Right. Hey, do you want to come to my court? No close relative of this guy who's still really young all right that's fine um hmm no since the opposite revolt is uh, temporary I think it might be better if we take advantage of this rather than the uh, other ones all right let's have you guys all gather around actually we might not need our uh, vassal troops so I might just swing it with my uh the main troops which are uh, the, which is limited because um, because we have we're a little over our domain limit right now. That's fine. And there goes another one of my lovers. Fantastic. Well, I guess she wasn't very happy. Maybe she was heartbroken after I denounced our uh, love child of Piroz. Another non-genius child. Unbelievable. What the hell is with these non-genius children? Come on, guys. Get your head in the game. Kanzir, I'm gonna give you thrift because I don't want you to develop a uh, dull, which is absolutely the fucking worst. Punjab, Lahore, Tal, Oman. Mm. We're actually fairly close to... Uh, Hitting that limit or hitting that requirement of 8,000. And it seems like we've had another bastard child that's been claimed by this asshole. Jeez. Fair enough. Hmm. So I do wonder how the custom empire thing works. I think I've only actually done it like once or twice. Or I don't know. Um, I've done it very uh, sparingly in the past. So I don't exactly remember how it works out. Um, like, since we don't have dynamic de jure drift on, how does that work too, right? I'm not sure. Um, I have no idea. But maybe we'll find out. You create the Duchy of Lahore? No. Duchy of Oman. I'm gonna hold off on that. Kingdom of Punjab. I wanna hold off on that as well because we don't have the two duchies over here. But right now we're in the middle of a, a war against the Abbasid Revolt. We want to take care of this first. Nazik. Denounced. That's right. You don't even get a proper name. And what the hell, man? Um. Is that my former lover? Oh, yeah, that is my lover. I guess uh, the husband found out and decided to uh, have her murdered. And here come the Abbasids. <laughs> ah, jeez. All right, well, uh, there goes the opposite revolt. Ha! Ah, oh, crap, Ola. All right, fine. Let's do this. Let's do this properly. Everyone, gather round. And we might as well have our uh, holy order involved as well. Can't handle the strain, eh? Fine. We'll go with this lady. We'll break up with her. That's good. Now, I don't think we need to keep her around as a special interest. Still not really sure why I can't seduce her. I don't really understand. 
Um, and Boba Lafula. Just need to make sure that she doesn't... I'm gonna sign myself as her guardian, by the way. That should be good. That way she'll always be my under my tutelage and all that stuff. Um, who are you? Did you kill someone or... Oh no, she's plotting to kill someone. I mean, I don't really care, but sure. I guess we'll imprison you for shits and giggles, mostly. Um, but yeah, I think... Do we need to... Yeah, we might need to actually um, bring in some Holy Order guys. Holy Order guys, I'm gonna have you guys uh, make your way across over to the opposite territory right now. That way you would also be avoiding uh, attrition in Kabul. Hopefully. And we've gotten some extra gold. Fantastic. Thank you, Steward. Thank you very much, my good man. Yeah. Let's start making our way over to the opposite territory. And someone is dead? Due to advanced leprosy? Okay. And looks like my diviner has turned out to be a giant scumbag. He's my court physician, by the way. He is my court physician. Well, I'm gonna have to let you go, buddy. Nothing personal. But, uh, you turned out to be an asshole, so... Alright, let's have you proselytize down here. Wow. Look at that, we actually managed to convert most of our territory into the, uh... Into worshippers of Zun. Fantastic. Alright, let's have you guys... They're gonna be down there. Let's have you guys go over... Here. And then swing around over this side. That's good. Have I had another daughter? Who's not a genius, so you don't qualify to be my, uh, of my blood. Get out of my face. Fantastic. And I don't think there's any need to, uh, imprison our former Sun Guardian and present, uh, court physician. Ah, shit. Alright, you know what? Let's take a break here and come back tomorrow to blast the Abbasids back. And hopefully, once we win this... We should be that much closer to forming the, uh, or founding the new empire and all that stuff. Yeah, we just need the prestige and that's it. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.